being finally released to DVD and Blu-ray, Dave. The original? The original oh, series. Which you can see on IFC like six in a row every day. Are they on IFC? Yeah, they're on IFC. They were oh. on this morning right after the Three Stooges. Oh, well, it probably looked good on there. Some of us were awake while waiting for other people <laughs> to wake up to get here to do the show. <laughs> 10 o'clock is awful early on a Saturday. Yeah. Uh, exactly. I, I Especially when you're, you're up till three getting final uh, clips together. Well, all I have to say about that, Ed, is you yes. were made aware of this, my time restraints because of my very, very busy social life. <laughs> right. You were made aware of what time I needed to be here and get started. Yes. The fact that you're up till three o'clock finalizing the show <laughs> is, a, is no one's fault but your own. That's true. I had most of it done too, but you, you, you know, you think, oh, I'll just throw the birthdays together. Which I you had done a long time ago, and I was going to get done. <laughs> which but, aren't going to be on this show either, by the way. Oh, <laughs> yes, they are. Right after we do <laughs> Frank Miller's Sin City, a Dane to kill for. Ooh. Starring Mickey Rourke, Jessica Alba, Ooh. Josh Brolin, Powers Booth, Joseph Gordon Levitt, Bruce Willis, Eva Green Dane. Oh. Maybe we could have uh, <laughs> between her and Rosario <laughs> Dawson. We can have a shave off. <laughs> right. And she is in this. Ray Liotta. He might look better in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> and Christopher Lloyd. And Stacy Keach. Oh. His hair lip may show up if he doesn't have the <laughs> mustache. Co directors Robert Rodriguez and Frank Miller. Crazy Reunite to bring Miller's visually stunning Sin City graphic novels back to the screen in Sin City. At Day, a Dane to kill for. This says Day to kill for here, and I didn't write that. Weaving together two of Miller's classic stories with new tales, the town's most hard-boiled citizens cross paths with some of its more notorious inhabitants. And, uh, oh. Apparently that's What it. happened? Wait a minute, there's got to be more. <laughs> it seems like there was a little more with the rating, but maybe not. That's good because. Uh, but it's got to be rated R for violence. And, it is and, R. And nudity and all sorts of things. And That's red, all I got. red flash is of blood. Mickey Rourke. Know what I was going to look for? I forgot. Uh, I have my. Remember my Death Row Mar figure? It was the Mickey Rourke in the electric chair, and I think it, it vibrated or something. Oh, really? I think it will have that ended up. I don't see any more for that, Ed. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, Jessica Alba. I wonder if she would do our web series as the uh, oh. exotic dancer, Dave. I don't know. But uh, you have many, uh, Jessica Alba not being uh, amongst them, but you have uh, Eva Green and Rosario Dawson. Mm -hmm. Neither one uh, are shy. No. no. For uh, proof on Eva Green, Never. see <laughs> The Dreamers. The Dreamers, which I have on Blu-ray. Why? For, just for Eva Green. Oh. Because she was in the James Bond movies, and she had quite the decollage. Oh, really? And that film. And then when I saw she was uh, a natural in uh, The Dreamers, I had to get that to study in full. Mm. In full, yeah. In Blu-ray It was, details. And it was very up close. It was, yes. And, uh, very, and also Michael Pitt uh, was not shy in that film either. Oh, no. Not uh, a, a, a dude day. A very graphic film. A, a nude dude. A nude dude. Mm. All right, we got to get to... Let's get uh, rolling. DVD releases, Ed. DVDs and then birthdays. DVDs, Coming birthdays, out. let's go. Okay, well, yeah, good movie. Next. <laughs> this was the first film that was out in the summer, Dave. And mm -hmm. here, the summer is not even over. Not even the Hollywood movie summer right. on August 19th. And here's the first film out on Blu-ray. And it did well. Did well. It was okay, I saw it. I mm -hmm. think even the producer saw it, right, in 3D? Yeah. He's, yeah. The Quiet Ones. This is a Hammer film. Didn't do all that well. And features the girl from Bates Motel, who shaved her head for some part, apparently. It has an enormous cranium. <laughs> she has an enormous <laughs> cranium? She does. All right, then. I'll watch it just because it's a Hammer film. Well, yeah, why not? Not a Hammer of all. Oh, I, I wanted to watch this, and it was a two-night miniseries event, Dave. And I mm -hmm. forgot all about it. And I think it was out in May. Didn't want to watch it that bad, did you? No. Rosemary's Baby. Wasn't she uh, the green broad in uh, Galaxy? Uh, whatever? Guardians of the yeah. Galaxy. Three's Company. All 174 classic episodes, Dave. 
Look at that. Look at the look at the collage of people. In. Furley, wow. you got Don Knotts, you got Norman Fell, Audra Lindley, you got someone's missing in there though. The neighbor. Friends. Oh, oh um Richard, Richard Klein. Yeah. Is it Larry. Klein? Klein or Kynes? Klein. Klein. Richard Richard Klein? Might be. There's a Richard Kind too. No, he's different. Yeah, he was in uh, Spin City. And then this and was Sharknado. Right. I thought he looked familiar in there. But isn't one of the blondes missing? Because didn't they have oh, three Jenna, of them? Jenna Lee Harrison was an interim blonde. Oh, okay. This was what they called Jiggle TV back oh, in the 70s. Days. And if you want to see <laughs> Priscilla Barnes jiggle oh, her upper parts oh. nude, uh, you see one of the Rob Zombie films. Yes. Uh, which I forget which one it was. The second one, whichever. Oh, these are two good films. It. Except for It. <laughs> it came from... Oh, that was the octopus thing. Yes, that was a giant octopus. It only had six arms, though. They just, yeah, eight they, was too many to right, animate. Right. Well, it's an it, mm -hmm. so it can have as many as they wanted. 20 million miles to Earth was, was uh, good. That was the e mirror. Yes, with the odd screaming sound. <laughs> which also uh, starred William Hopper from Perry Mason. And the father of who? William Catt, or is that the mother? Or I think Della Street. Barbara Hale is, yeah, okay. is William Katz's father. My mother. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's very confusing. Uh, what is this? A brony tale, Dave. W what is that? A film about men who like My Little Pony. Oh, what? We talked about the bronies before. They go to these conventions. They dress up as little ponies. Oh, man. And there's a term. It looks like Nicole Richie. <laughs> it does. There's a term for the ones who really get sexually stimulated by the oh, ponies, this Dave. Sicko is, is the term. <laughs> yeah. It was a flocker or something. <laughs> I forget it. Oh, that's awful. All right. We, we do have... have time to get last week's and this week's birthdays. All right, let's do that. We have a few minutes and then let's do go them over quickly. Look, go. At the, look at the gray as it shows up. When you get the haircut, Ed, yeah. all the grays show up. You don't put any color in your hair no. at this age. I don't care as you long as care? I as long as I I have plenty, mm -hmm. which so far seems to be holding up pretty well. You're holding up well in the hair area. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. Going gray. Yeah, throw some color in it. Nah, I don't Take care. Take a few years off. No, no. Nah. I should put it in here. <laughs> right here, this is all gray. Okay. All right, August fourteenth. Mila Kunis. I don't know. Very graphic last name, isn't well, it? No. Kunis. Kunis. I'll say 29. I really don't know. <laughs> oh, 31. Seems like only yesterday she was a young teen. Oh, she's got to be 45, 46? 45. I'll go 47. Has anybody watching your new show? Is it Ooh. still on? 48, Dave. Oh, no. I watched the first episode and gave up. Uh, 23-ish. So young. Talented. Oh, well, talented actress. Ooh, oh, no. 77. She made the rounds at the Comic Con for her, uh, the new series and uh, a new bust coming out. Really? Oh, 81. Well, we are going through these quick. Uh, 73. I'm just wondering how old he was because it seems like he's looked the same for the past 10 years or so. Oh. Roman Polanski. Mm, so young, too young. 18, so, yeah. or is that what the 70, age you like? 79. <laughs> <laughs> oh, backwards. Wonder, maybe he likes 30-year-olds now. Those are the young chickies. Maybe. Was that it? All two weeks? No, we have uh, oh. this week coming up. Oh, all right. That was from the last show that we didn't get to. Right. Because we were busy with Fushillo. Right. And finding out Cammy was leaving. Right. Which you were supposed to call him. Yeah, we don't need, we're going to have to call her next time. 32. Well, speaking of Man of Steel, there's Lois Lane there. 40? That's old for wow. Lois Lane. I'm way off mark on her. <laughs> oh. His face is three. 76. <laughs> His curry face. <laughs> did you see he turned up in a commercial yes, looking Geico. frightening? Yeah. Geico. He looked better. Actually, he looked better than he did. He let that, that face lift loosen yeah. up a little. Yeah, if you let it loosen a while. Oh, he was looking Asian for a few years. Um, now, what's he on? The Modern, modern Family, okay. I think? Uh, 44? I, I don't even really can't picture him, but I know what show he's on. Oh. oh. I'm afraid well, to say, but she's got to be closing in on 80. Don't I think? saw her at a show about uh, 10 years ago, and she looked pretty good. She's got to be closing in on 80. 83! Well, she looks like oh, 73. Geez. 
Oh, there you go. Her, yeah, okay. Missed, what, 84? Just, yeah, he retired 10 yeah. years ago after that... Uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yeah, that was it. He's got to be 92, 93, something like that. 93. Oh, Come on down. What did he do? What's yeah, behind yeah. the curtain? Yeah. Yeah. Let's make a deal. There you go. All right. All it's right. time for the Post Affairs game, folks, as Ed leaves. Are you leaving, Ed? I le I'm leaving. Okay. Oh, there we go. Post Affairs game. <laughs> we're going to we we're, we're gonna trick everybody. Mm -hmm. Post the Paris game, we send in two numbers from one to six. We take your name out of the, the plastic thingy, uh, reveal the two numbers you select. If they match, like Willie Smith did last week, you win two free movie passes. If you're right, spin the wheel. Spin the wheel, you can win up to ten. Pretty simple. Yeah, please uh, spin the wheel, though. Why not take a chance? we got to move that light back there. Do we? It's right behind. That used to be a highlight uh, Makes for, our, for our co-host, but she's not here now. <laughs> I'm beginning to think... No one wants to be on the show. Do you think that's a cursed seat like yes. Brett Summers was on <laughs> the match game? There was one seat that was always rotating. They couldn't keep anybody in there. All right, here we go. Okay. Lawrence Katz. Oh. Two and five. <laughs> what was that, producer? It's always time to get a meow in for Lawrence Katz. <laughs> Lawrence Katz, two and five. And spin the wheel, Ed. Who would find? I want to see Lawrence Katzman. He's a long-time viewer of the show. Well, we matched with this last week. Can't you can do it again? It can be done. Five, five, five. five. Oh. oh. You know, this is coming out on Blu-ray soon. Tales uh, from the Crypt. When's uh, Centipede Three coming out? I have seen no updates on oh, Centipede. It's very disappointing. There you go, folks. Didn't win Lawrence Katz. Where's the address, Ed? You could be there in that spot. Oh, turning over the... <laughs> yes. That's right. Yeah, why don't we do it that way? Anyone want to be the... Uh, yeah, we used to plead on the... Now we have social media and everything, but the... There's, that's that's that, worked out well. <laughs> it worked out so well. Here it is. Mediazone95 at gmail.com. Mediazone95 at gmail.com. Just send in... Two numbers from one to six uh, via email to this here address. And just like we just, uh, we put you in the entries and just like what just happened, we will re pull your name luckily. And even more luckily, your numbers that you give us will match. And then you could possibly win 10 tickets, but you're guaranteed to win too. If you do write, if you do win and you write spin the wheel, these are what happened. This is what could happen. You have one chance to turn those two tickets into 10. Two chances and they turn into six or four. Six chances to keep the two you got. Five chances you lose one. Two chances you lose them both. It's called living life dangerously. Oh, live it on the edge. That's right. Move here, move there, move everywhere. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Dr. Seuss. It's a Dr. <laughs> Seuss story. The Book of Cami. <laughs> right, and, and Lelag. Right. Who <laughs> else moved? Do we have, well, the, uh, Kim the matinee lady moved across the street, so she's moving around. They all move around. Across there. the street? Well, across Central Ave. Oh, she's, she's still close? She's very close. Oh, I didn't know that. And um, we might call her up <laughs> in a few minutes. Wow. <laughs> she could come back for a few episodes till we find a permanent one. Yeah, like me. <laughs> right, <laughs> <laughs> for, come back for a few, uh, guest spot for a few years. Right. What the heck? Yeah, okay. So we got to go now so we can get our uh, announcer in. <laughs> so we'll see you next time. I'm going to try and call Cammy next time, Dave. From Tennessee. Right. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Zone has been a Cable 2000 production.